Dan. Sam Walsh, he's in Australian contention. Changed my mind. Yeah, you, you've been saying it a lot, so we've got some <laughs> stats to say you may be onto something here. So. Yeah, no, look, what we want to do today, uh, not make any bold statements, but just want to see okay, the, the fact that we're even doing this comparison really goes to show the type of year that Sam Walsh has had. So I think the numbers that he has, he could be in contention for an All-Australian squad if he really finishes the season strongly. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to have a look at all the midfielders that are, you know, there or thereabouts and just see where he stacks up. And like I said, when, when you have a look at this, it really goes to show that an 18, 19 year old kid being in this conversation already, we're onto a beauty. So take me through what is uh, at play here. Yeah, so the, the top set, these are the five guys that have been thrown around by all the AFL pundits that they believe will be in the all Australian team. Mm -hmm. So we've got Lockie Neal, we've got Fife, we've got Cripper, we've got Merritt, who I think is deserving, and Dangerfield. So who, these are the guys that we think will definitely yeah, so these be there. Yeah, AFL's pundits, these are the ones that they've all handpicked were yep. a, a locks. Yep. Now at the bottom, we've got my Smokies. So I think Josh Dunkley deserves a mention. Definitely. Tim Taranto's been phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I think Mitch Duncan has been the best, for me, has been the best midfielder at Geelong. I think he's been brilliant. If you've got him in your draft stars, the guy's guaranteed 120 every game. He's, yep. he's a lock. Travis Burke, I think no one's talked about him. For me, form midfielder, I love watching him play. Yep. And here's Sammy. So we see the Greens are what they lead for midfield possessions. Out of all 10? Yeah, so Got you. all 10. So you, you look, Lockie O'Neill's the leading effective disposal, so disposal 25 that. effective disposals a game. He's an animal, he's Lockie. Yeah, and you can see there that crazy. no one's really close to him. Amazingly, Cripper and uh, Duncan are next in line so mm -hmm. something we don't really give him much credit for yep. Cripper he's a very good user of the ball yep. we can see contested possessions and this is where it scares me you look at a young kid's contested possessions you see fives leading the way with 17 yep. but most of them are around the 11 and 12 mark and we look at Sam Walsh he's already up to 10 yep. he's 18 so the key note here for me is you look at the age at the top yep. he's so much younger than everyone else and his numbers are all there or thereabouts like the pressure axe he's second on that ladder yep. for an 18 year old kid 19 now. What that's showing me is, look, I mean, if I've got to be, if I have to put my take off my Carlton hat, he's probably not going to make the All Australian team. He probably, probably won't make the squad, but just he's just sort of on the cusp there. You, you pretty much expect this from a, a midfielder, and he's sort of like Tim Taranto. He's at that third or fourth year now where he's now, he's starting to push up. That's where I would expect a, a young gun draftee midfielder to come into this conversation. And the fact that we're even having this discussion. Yeah, I'm just stoked. I'm just stoked we've got him. Well, if you look at Sam Walsh versus Taranto, yeah. he's winning in most of the categories. Like, he's beating him in goal assists, he's beating him in key, key things like, you know, disposals, effective disposals for a young kid. And Taranto's got talent around him. Yeah, yeah. Where Walsh, let's be honest, has got Cripper for the first eight games of his career. Yeah, yeah. It's only recently they're starting to all mix in. Yep. This is saying to me that lock him in 2020 for all Australian. There you go. I'm well, going to call it now. Fascinating. Um, let us know what you think about this. Do you feel like Sam Walsh is in the all Australian squad conversation? And do you think that it's warranted that he's in that conversation? Let us know in the comments below.